Hey, are you using checklists in your photo or video projects? Why not? They are super helpful. How? Well, let's figure that out today in the studio. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Silva and you're watching Alex Silva Photography. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. That would make me very happy. In any case, today we're talking about checklists and how we can use them in photography or video projects. But let me give you a bit of background. Um, before I was a full-time photographer, I worked as either a software developer or a project manager for close to 26 years. And I worked in many different industries. One of those industries was the aerospace industry, where I learned so many different things and tools that I still use to this day in my photo and video projects. One of those tools is the checklist. Anyway, what is a checklist and how we're going to use it? Well, what is it? It's super simple and maybe obvious. It is a list of things we need to check that they have been performed. On, or they have, or that they are ready. Uh, how we're going? How are we going to use them in photography, or how I use them in photography? Well, I made a list separated in three different phases. What happens before a shoot? Well, in in essence, we usually need to pack our bags. We need to make sure that whatever is in the bag is ready. Let, that means that the cameras are set up correctly, the batteries are charged, the memory cards are, have been formatted, the flashes are, or the lights are ready to be used, um, all the pieces that we need to set up lights or microphones or whatever are ready to be used and in the corresponding bags, etc. So if you have a list of all the things that you usually pack for a shoot, you can go and check them and place a check mark next to that item. When the checklist is ready, is full, well, you know that you are ready. Let's start, let's go to the next phase. What happens during the shoot? This is a checklist or the checklist that you're going to use during the shoot may be different from one client to another or if you are in a very specific kind of um, kind of photography, let's say wedding photography, uh, you may have already a standard list. Usually this particular checklist has a special name and special uh, use that it's called a shot list. And I'm going to make a video about that in particular. But in essence, you're going to make a list of the things you need to shoot. And then in phase number three, you need to figure out what happens after the shoot. Well, in my particular case, after a shoot, I always uh, transfer my images and videos to my computer or my iPad in my, in my case, and then make sure that I run any backups that are necessary. And, and, and that's how I make sure that all my files are safe. I then um, import all my images to Lightroom or whatever software I'm using, and the videos are then ready in my video library. Now I know I am ready to post-process them, and I also make sure that I create a folder where I'm going to place all the images that I'm going to deliver to my client. Now, how can you make um, your own checklist? Well, you don't have to, because it turns out I created a template for you. You can find the link to download it below. And in essence, this is a system that is going to ask you for your email address. This way I will be able to keep in touch with you and make and let you know about any new tools that I have to offer it and I'm not going to share your email address with anyone. I hate spam. 
this template will have, well, it is as its name implies, it is a template that you can use as it is if it applies to your industry, but you can also modify it to your liking so you can uh, adapt it to your own industry and requirements. And that in essence is how we can use a checklist in photography or video projects. We use them in three phases and that's what we can use to make sure that all different phases are complete. I really hope you found this video interesting, informative, but also entertaining. If that is the case, please press the like button. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel. But most of all, please remember to keep learning and keep shooting. And I'll see you in the next video.